this is Marissa with the Umbrian Sewist. Thank you so much for joining me today on this Friday Sews. Um, if for anyone who hasn't seen Friday Sews, um, which is would be difficult at this point, but Friday Sews was created um, as a hashtag by Jen in today's in Jen's sewing room uh, as a way of sort of bringing the sewing community together. Um, and giving people lots of opportunity to watch videos on a Friday. So I have been busy making underpants for my son this week. That is primarily what I have been doing. Now that was after I finished, um, my Cottesloe, which I think I mentioned in my last Friday. So that I was making for, um, the fabric store, Mikey in Poland, who had kindly gifted me some lovely, um, lycra. So I'll start off by showing you that. So for anyone who doesn't know, the Cottesloe is a Megan Nielsen swimsuit with quite a few different options. I go for the high back one piece. Um, I've made this, this will be my third. It's a fantastic bathing suit. I always fully line it. Um, and uh, it's just super easy to put together. The only difference that I do or make from the directions is when I'm inserting the elastic into the arms, the neck, and the legs, I basically sew up the elastic so it's in a, a round piece. And then I just find it easier and less fiddly. And that's worked really well for me. So this is the bathing suit. In this, I don't know how you'd describe it. To me, it looks like someone threw a bunch of paint at the, at the fabric. Um, but yeah, it's just incredibly colorful, really fun. I use the same fabric for the lining, so you can't really tell the difference. Um, but yeah, super nice, super fun, super quick, and I've already worn it. Um, and yeah, I really like the, just all the different colors in the fabric. So, so yeah, really fun to work with. The, the Lycra at Mikey is incredible quality. Um, the first bathing suit, um, we have a swimming pool at our house here. It's the only way to stay cool all summer. But anyway, I swim every single day and, um, the bathing suit that I have made first which has clearly been worn well over a hundred times now, still looks brand new. The quality of the Lycra, like I said, is incredible. So I would highly recommend it. Now, this paper pattern of the, the Cottesloe goes into size zero to 20, but I am pretty sure that they have it in, I think they have a curve range as well, which so it goes to a much larger size. So zero is a bust of 32, waist 24, hip 34 going up to a bust of 46, waist 38, hip 48. Now I make um, the size 16, which is a bust 42, waist 34, hip 44. Um, I am a little bit larger than that right now, um, but I just made the 16 because it fit, the other bathing suits fit really nice. So there was no reason to change the size despite my size changing. Hopefully it will change going down soon. We shall see. Okay, so that was the first thing. So as I said, I'm making lots of pants for my son and I use this pattern, the Speedy Pants by Waves and Wild. Now prior to that, the last underwear I made him, which was a good two years ago, I used the Ikati underwear pattern, um, which has elastic on the top. Um, I'll put a picture up here of what those look like. Um, but I really liked the look of these. Specifically what I liked is that you've got this, basically instead of elastic, you've got a jersey band here and then you've got these sort of leg cuffs. Um, and, uh, but what I wanted to do, they come in two variations. So yeah, so they have the boxers and the briefs. So I wanted to make both for my son and ask him what he thought. Now my son is about to turn seven. However, according to the measurements, mainly the height, he was in the size nine um, range. 
uh, which, yeah, is quite larger. He's quite a slim little guy, but he's, I guess, quite tall. So the first one I made are these cute briefs with this fun fabric I got from Stoff and Still. I made him Christmas pajamas out of these. Of course, they're the great thing about underwear is they're great for scraps. So I made these. He did not like them. He said that like in between his legs, like they just felt weird. But I think it's because he's been wearing sort of the boxer style for so long. So these are, will not be warm. Then I made the boxer style for him. And this is the one I made here, um, which, you know, super nice. It's again, size nine. His complaint was that they were too long. Um, again, his, the ones he's wearing because he's gotten tall and he's growing out of them. They're, they're short on his legs. So anyway, in the end, what I ended up doing, I'm going to still mix these in with his underwear. He won't know the difference, but what I ended up doing was doing a nine at the waist, grading to an eight at the leg. So they are just that little bit shorter. And since then I've been making loads. So I've made some of this gray, all lovely sort of off cuts. This is sort of a ribbed one, uh, blue, and then this cool fabric, which I've had my stash for ages. It's beautiful fabric, but when you um, pull it, look at it, it goes white. So for underwear, it's good, but for sure, it's not so nice. And uh, yeah, I'm almost done. So I think when I'm done, I'll have He'll have like 15 pairs, which should see him through for a while. So that's not terribly exciting, but that's what I've been up to. Um, the cool thing is with this pattern, you can make it all in the overlocker. It um, is hugely size inclusive. It goes from six months to 12. And um, the instructions are great. The construction is super cool, like the pattern pieces. So the neat thing about it is this front piece well, this is not a good, you can't see it very well. Uh, let's see, on this one you can see. So you've got this front piece here. That's the only place it's sewn. The rest of it, this and the entire back up until this point is one piece. So it's just a really very, very easy to make, very easy to sew. Um, he says, I feel like I'm not wearing any underwear. So I mean, in my book, that's a good thing. Anyway, so yes, hoping to finish those off today so that I can move on to something a bit more enjoyable. I mean, those are enjoyable, but a bit more interesting. So what I plan to make this week, the first thing I'm going to make is two sandcastle bucket hats, one for myself, one for my son. Now, funnily enough, we wear the same size, which is the small adult and um, I was going to make some sort of uh, some uh, hat for him in sort of a fun, funky fabric. But I think what I will do is just make it in this um, navy blue um, fabric that I believe I purchased to make him a costume one. So it's just a, I think, rather not the best quality, 100% cotton. But... Um, it'll be good enough, right? And it's <laughs> the fact that it's so see-through is probably quite breathable. Um, and so, yeah, I should have enough to make both of us a hat out of this. Navy blue's a nice color, nice and simple. I've seen some um, beautiful hats people have made and it just sounds like it's super easy. So hopefully I can sort of knock both of those up. Um, although I suppose since we're wearing we the same size head, maybe I should do different fabric for each of us, but. We shall see. So yeah, I'm going to do the Sandcastle Bucket Hat. Again, another Waves and Wild pattern that goes from newborn to adult extra large. So really, really cool and, and inclusive in terms of sizing. Free pattern. And um, yeah, really look forward to making that. So the next thing I plan to do is make myself another pair of the Wardrobe by Me Easy Shorts which I talked about a little bit previously, um, which I have made twice. I've tweaked the pattern. I feel like the sizing is a little, well, for me, it doesn't sort of quite work. Um, and possibly that's because I have, like I said, sort of larger than normal thighs. Um, but anyways, I've got the pattern fit nicely. I made a pair in double gauze, which I thought 
were tight after I'd made them, but I wore them and they're absolutely lovely. And I really just looked through my stash because I have, because of all those lovely fabric surprise boxes, I have some smaller cuts of cottons that I just didn't know what to do with. So this is one of those. It's a lovely cotton. I don't know if it's like a blue or dark gray stripe, um, but I plan to make the shorts in this. And I'm gonna make them going like this with the stripes because that's the only way I can get the pieces out. So I plan to make those. That Those were super fast, super easy. Um, and those will be nice because it is still hot here. And then I hope to get started on something I've been scared of for a while. And again, it's another Waves and Wild pattern. And it is the sunset shirt, which is a proper button down shirt, as you can see from this little chap here. It's a proper shirt pattern that goes from zero to th three months old to 12. Uh, let me find the line drawings. This packet of instructions is ginormous, which is part of the fear factor. So you can see you can make it um, with different collars. I think I will make I think I'm going to start with the regular collar short sleeve because the cuffs scare me. But you know what? I don't think so. I'm going to go straight for it. I think I'm going to make regular collar long sleeve, which you can see right here. Um, yes, the instruction booklet is almost 50 pages. Now, there are the variations, so you can tell, like, that that would, like the onesie one, probably has its own, so yeah, exactly, has its own set of directions. But yeah, I really am excited to make that because next I would like to make myself a shirt. Um, but I feel like it'd be easier on these little pieces. But anyways, this is the fabric that I am going to use. It's this beautiful, really nice quality, Evalekin design, 100% cotton with these beautiful whales. It's like a sagey, dark sagey green with the white whales. I believe I have, let's see, if I made him a size nine, which I would based on the height again, how much fabric do you need? I hope I have enough. I would have thought you need quite a bit of fabric. I'm not sure if I can figure that out very quickly here. Oh yes, supplies. So size age nine. You need one point three eight yards or one point two meters, and I actually think I bought one point two meters. And this is quite a wide fabric. I suppose it is directional, but yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, beautiful, soft. Yeah, so I'm really excited to give that a go. Um, there's nothing like urgently I need right now. And so I feel excited to take on a project that will be more involved and require me to think and learn new things. And uh, so that, yeah, we'll see how far I get this week. But thank you so much for uh, joining me today. I hope you're all well and enjoying your summer uh, and what's left of it, um, depending on where you are in the world. And uh, have a great weekend. Bye.